This workshop, we've, this is the second one we've done. It's, um, we call it Art in the Forest. And the idea is to remove all the um, traditional, typical art making um, materials and, and I guess sort of the comfort of the studio from the artists. So no paints, no um, traditional equipment. And we ask artists to make art out of whatever they find in the forest. And it's extraordinary because you find with the same materials, people make such a variety of different types of work. I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. Um, and usually I'm, uh, I paint, my usual practice is painting, although I do some site-specific work. Um, coming on this workshop, I had no idea what I would do at first. And then because of this incredible environment, I was inspired to make the elephant that you see here. Um, the idea is that it's some sort of guardian spirit, but also a welcoming and friendly presence. So that if people want to come here for picnics, it's here to welcome them. Here you can have the answer to this problem. Because I was thinking like coming from Zion, that's why I went on Saturday to create this like, where I find out from people what's the way forward. I can't protect the elephants because they also need the trees. We're a visual arts organisation that was set up um, over 12 years ago to give skills and opportunities to Kenyan visual artists. We do all sorts of projects, but one of, the, um, one of the important projects that we do are international workshops where we gather together an equal number of local artists with artists from all over the world, predominantly from Africa, but also from other parts of the world. And the idea is that we put them in a remote location or a challenging environment and they work together, they share their experiences, they talk to each other and they make artwork. I'm a Zambian artist. Uh, I make sculptures. Mainly I do social art that involves the community. And then when I came to this workshop, which is nature and art, I noticed that in this forest, this is the most poached tree. So I thought maybe I should leave a mark to kind of send a message to people to stop cutting the trees down. at it. Keep looking at it. At the trees, the nature, and uh, something like uh, the wild animals, man, you know, we can't exist without nature. So we really need it, and we really actually need to conserve it by all costs. So I think this, uh, this actually, it's, it's an eye-opener to the people. And I think, to my suggestion, we should do it once again and actually, if not in Kenya, somewhere else, but actually the world should know about this.